Hello, my friends. Boomy here once again with another video for you, my social brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing today in the galaxy? Far, far, far. There it is. Oh, hey. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button for all your such fun news, gods, and updates right here, right now. My friends, I've tried to do this before. I recorded a video before this and then realized my microphone was still muted. Well, that sucked. But, my friends, we have an update to an update to a non-update from Star Wars The Old Republic. Someone asked on the forums after something Keith posted back in June about when are we going to hear about what's going on in 7.4 didn't star wars the old republic say hey we're hey man we're going to have a live stream about this soon they might have said something about that soon is always tm right trademark soon in the gaming world means forever so when we get it we're gonna get it but they kind of made me think of something pretty interesting now let's get into what keith had to say and then what jackie had to say the lead community manager of star wars the old republic and then we're going to get into what i have to say so this is what keith had to say back in uh june he said no doubt you've read the reports that ea is evaluating opportunity okay pretty much what he's saying is yes ea is giving sotor to broadsword because Bioware needs to focus on the two old games that they needed to focus on so they don't fail like Anthem did. Sorry, yes, right. I said it. You're right. It said game update 7.3 June release, which happened, will remain unchanged and patch notes will release the day before as per usual, which it did. All future content updates are also moving forward as planned, including 7.3.1 and 7.4. We are looking forward to the future of Star Wars The Old Republic and its continued growth. Keith. <clears throat> Now, this is what uh, the commenter said and what uh, Jackie had to say. The commenter said, uh, I know it was mentioned to be happening shortly either by Jackie, Eric, or Keith, but was the date of the live stream ever given? And Jackie uh, commented, Good morning. A date for the stream has not been announced yet. When we do make the announcement, it will be its own thread and pin in general discussion. It has been with past an announcements. Thank you. Now, here's my thing. All kudos to Jackie. Any community manager out there in any gaming world has to deal with the internet. The internet is the internet, right? A bunch of keyboard warriors who have nothing better to do than complain about all the things, right? We see that in Diablo 4. We see that in Starfield. We see that in tons of games out there. Now, here's my critique, right? I'm, I'm, this is not me complaining. This is me giving a good criticism and critique and advice to Star Wars The Old Republic. People are leaving this game, and it's not just because of the lack of content we have gotten, which primarily is a great source because the past couple content patches or expansions, whatever the hell you want to call it, has been extremely lackluster. The last one was just, I honestly felt like was just a giant mess. And I will never run another tune through it because I don't ever want to go <laughs> have to deal with that crap again. The biggest issue, however, is it's the lack of communication. And this has been a giant thorn in my side and in Bioware's now broadsword side uh, for the game. It's the lack of communication with its community. The lack of transparency with its community. Now, granted, this game has a bit more hands in the cookie jar than, say, uh, Blizzard. Activision and Blizzard, they're your hands. This game's got EA bioware or had bioware but still has but i don't know how it goes now uh disney lucas arts it's got all the hands in the fucking cookie jar and that's the biggest problem and now hopefully with it going to broadsword less hands in the cookie jar but yet it's still star wars so you're still dealing with disney you're still dealing with lucas my biggest issue is and this is coming from someone who's had a, a big peek on the inside of how things work is a lack of communication with its community. If you want a game to die, here are the two things you need to do. Put out lackluster content, horrible story content, and don't communicate with your community. That's what's going to happen. 
Do I think the last couple of updates we've had in Star Wars Old Republic is bad story content? I honestly feel like it's lackluster. I like the no, the couple new characters. But honestly, the Mandalorian storyline needs to die and go away. We need to get away from all, you know, let's go back to the Emperor. He's back again because reasons. You're being lazy. Tell good fucking stories in this game. You really want to pull something on people's? You want? You really want to surprise everyone in this community? Bring Darth Jadis back. Because I honestly don't believe his story has actually ever ended. He never actually died. That's my conspiracy. He never died. He is one of my favorite Darths that never got a good uh, conclusion to his story. And that's right. I've cussed a couple times, and I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry, because I have a passion for this game, and I'm kind of getting sick and tired of seeing where this game is going. Darth Malgipu, I love you. I side with you 100% on what you're doing. I think what the Jedi are doing is a bunch of bullshit, and yeah, I have no love for the Jedi, none whatsoever. No, no. Nor do I with the Sith right now, because. God knows what's going on there because Sotor has given you, you know, if you pick this side, this guy dies. But if you pick that side, that guy dies. But now we have to come together and try to make a couple stories that come together with each people that might be dead or might be alive. I really feel like Star Wars The Republic has painted themselves in corners so many times in the past couple years that this is where we are now. Prove me wrong. That's all I ask. I mean, if I am wrong, I am wrong, and I'll totally admit to it. I have no issue. I have no pride in that in that category whatsoever. But Star Wars The Old Republic's biggest Achilles heel has always been communication with its community. I remember when Eric Musco would do live streams with the people. You would have, like, they would do live stream, like, live, like, actually playing with people, PvP or doing stuff like that. They would do live streams more often, and then it would just die done out and end right they'll always promise yes we'll do more live streams for you yes we'll do more community players with you as in developers playing together but it just goes away and if you're part of the content program thingy well they'll tell you things but you can't say a damn word about it unlike blizzard which they almost actually want you to talk about what's coming up talk about what's been data mined because that's part of marketing too to get you excited for what's coming in the future but then sotor gives you something like well this is what's coming in the future yeah we've ex we we've announced this brand new expansion is gonna be awesome sauce is gonna be great and then it f falls flat on its face like the past two expansions have done and this is why people are leaving the game now hopefully with broadsword being part of the whole thing and continuum now hopefully being away from bioware getting one extra hand out of the cookie jar the star wars the old republic will get the chance it needs we'll we'll, we'll get the treatment it actually deserves to give us content we as player base deserve i think a lot of people are hungering for news about 7.4 and beyond no one cares about what's going on right now we as a community star wars the old republic keith jackie eric we want to know what is going to happen in the future there are a lot of people who are hedging their bets right now they are hoping beyond hope this game has a miraculous future. And I am one of those people. I truly hope it does. I hope we see a new golden age of Star Wars The Old Republic. I am rooting for that. But more and more dissension in the game is going to happen the longer and longer this company goes without communicating with actual good uh, communication with its community. We need more than awesome bundles that give us stars falling out of the sky, which honestly is a pretty cool bundle on the cartel market, about 1,800 cartel coins. Go get it. It's really good. Uh, we need more than microtransactions. We need actual story back to the game. We don't need rehashed emperors. Fuck, give us Darth Jadis. You want to talk about a Darth, a character who hasn't, who, who I honestly believe conspiracy if I might if I might Alex Jones this for a second I don't think he actually died 
I think he never actually got a true ending. Nope. Nope. If you want to bring back a character from our past, Darth Jadis, which should and should, would be, words that aren't working, be the one. But we need something new. Stop harping on the Mandalorian, Ahsoka, and all this stuff. Give us something new that we can all gravitate towards. That's all we're asking. Honestly, I see it in my comment section all the time. I see it in my emails. I see it on the interwebs. We are hungering for communication from you, Star Wars or Republic. The ball is in your court. The true, the true thing question is, what are you going to do about it? Anyways, my friends, let's keep the conversation going on in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think about all this? Am I wrong? If I'm wrong, I will totally admit that I'm wrong. But let me know your thoughts. What do you think is going to happen? What would you like to see happen? What do you think? What is going on? Pretty much. Like, let me know. Rant away if you want to party on. You be you. Make sure you hit that like button. The more likes we get, the more the algorithm likes us. And we want it to like us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and become part of the family here. Booming Nation, the freak show of gaming, the black sheep of YouTube. And as always, my friends, remember to be kind. It's about community. And don't forget to spay and neuter your Wookiees. We'll see you later, my friends. Good day.